You ready to do this? Look, not only are you awake, you're off the couch. You ready? For, and there she goes. Are you ready for some good news? You're laying down next to my script. Do you want to read what it says? No? Well, I will. It says that scientists have found a way to repair the genetic mutation that is responsible for the most common form of muscular dystrophy. Duchenne muscular dystrophy affects about 1 in 5,000 men. Symptoms, muscle weakness, and eventually muscle loss typically begin to show themselves around age 4. Average life expectancy with the disease is 26 years. Duchenne is caused by a mutation of the dystrophin gene on the X chromosome. Dystrophin is a protein necessary for strong, healthy muscle fibers. Scientists at the University of California, Berkeley have demonstrated that they can repair the dystrophin mutation using CRISPR Gold, a new form of the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technique. The CRISPR Gold treatment was able to correct the mutation in mouse models of Duchenne affected muscle tissue and was shown to be more effective than a more conventional CRISPR Cas9 treatment. The treatment still needs to go through further trials before it's determined to be safe and effective for humans, but studies like this suggest that CRISPR Gold carries a great deal of promise for treating Duchenne and many other genetic diseases in the future. That would be very good news for some of the estimated quarter of a million people living with muscular dystrophy in the United States alone. The study is published in the journal Nature Biomedical Engineering. All right, just look at this. I set up the lights over here because she was laying down on the floor right there. And where is she now? Right there. Right back where she always is. What utterly uncat-like behavior. Anyway, next up, a new study has found a link between the presence of particular bacteria and breast cancer. Researchers at the Cleveland Clinic have found that healthy breast tissue contains a higher concentration of methylobacterium than breast tissue where cancer is present. The study also found that urine samples taken from breast cancer patients had higher levels of gram-positive bacteria. What does this mean? For one thing, it could suggest a way for doctors to make the body a less hospitable environment for cancer. For another, it could provide a new biomarker that could lead to faster and more accurate diagnosis of cancer, which in turn would lead to earlier and more effective treatment. This study is published in the journal OncoTarget. And finally, wouldn't it be great if they came up with a way to make your cat more cooperative when you were making YouTube videos with her? Well, here's another hypothetical question that I just happen to actually have a follow-up for. Wouldn't it be great if you could look through an optical telescope here on Earth and see images of the distant universe that were almost as good as the images you could see through an orbital space telescope? Well, you can. A team of astronomers at Penn State, with help from RPC Photonics, a manufacturer of optical components based in Rochester, New York, has created a diffuser that, when attached to a telescope, enables precise, sharp observations of distant exoplanets that are nearly as good as observations made with orbital space telescopes. The diffuser designed by the Penn State team and made by RPC Photonics is a piece of glass with its surface coated with a plastic polymer. A microscopic pattern is then etched onto that surface which shapes the light which passes through the glass. These beam shaping diffusers are able to correct for much of the distortion caused by Earth's atmosphere, which is the major obstacle to making consistent astronomical observations from the ground. The beam shaping diffuser is inexpensive and relatively simple to make and can be adapted to fit virtually any optical telescope. The astronomers who created it hope it will enable ground-based observers to identify and confirm candidates for new exoplanets. The paper on the beam shaping diffuser is published in the Astrophysical Journal. So now we're basically just back where we always are in these videos, except I never set up the tripod, so we're doing handheld shaky cam like the fucking Blair Witch Project. I hope you're happy. Are you happy? Are you, are you, are you, are you pleased with yourself? I bet, I bet that you are. I bet that you are pleased with yourself. Anyway, what have we learned this week? Well, 
An improved version of CRISPR provides a possible treatment for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Detecting the levels of certain bacteria could lead to faster and more accurate breast cancer diagnosis. And a bit of fancy etched glass could make ground-based telescopes almost as good as space telescopes. That's the good news. Hey folks, one more thing. It's hot, by the way. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron of this channel. Thanks for watching.